Advances in women's health have added options for certain procedures. Women can now have hysterectomies done through their belly button. It's a relatively new procedure, and our next guest is one of only 50 OBGYNs in the U.S. currently trained to perform it. Here with the details, Dr. Darren Swanson, alongside Chrissy Semerero, who's gone through the procedure herself. Good morning to both of you, and welcome. Good morning. Doctor, tell us about this new procedure and how it's revolutionized the way you practice. Well, it's, la it's, it's laparoscopy, mm -hmm. but we use the assistance of a robot to help us um, move around in very delicate, small spaces so that we can do very precise work uh, and cause the least amount of trauma to the patient. So that, are, that is uh, some of the benefits as well. Less trauma, is it faster recovery times as well? Yes, because it is all about what the trauma that you leave behind when you do surgery to mm -hmm. the patient, that's what affects their healing. And if you can limit that, then the patient recovers faster. And also, what about scarring? Uh, that's the big plus of this new procedure. Mm -hmm. It's all about cosmesis, which means to preserve somebody's beauty or to maintain their health. Mm -hmm. And can anyone have this procedure done? At this time, it's relatively new in gynecology. It's been used mm -hmm. with gallbladders for longer, but we do limit to limit it to certain people depending on what their problem is mm -hmm. and and other issues and that each doctor has to look at that and decide mm -hmm. who the best candidate is. And typically how how big would a scar be versus this procedure called the single site hysterectomy? Well traditionally with multi-port hysterectomy using laparoscopy or robotics mm -hmm. you have multiple small incisions um, throughout um, the abdomen and single site is one incision in the belly button and it's usually about an inch long mm -hmm. and we try to hide it inside the belly button so that there's almost no evidence of it later. And again this is done robotically? Yes. And uh, Chrissy you had this procedure done how long ago did you have this done and tell us uh, how you feel now? Four weeks tomorrow that I had the procedure mm -hmm. now I'm feeling really well you still are recovering you still went through a major surgery so you get tired easily and things mm -hmm. like that but other than that I feel fantastic and this option was presented to you you wanted to go this route this was actually an added benefit for me mm -hmm. I was struggling with back pain I knew that this you know, the hysterectomy was coming um, because of the severity of my pain I didn't really care what I was going to end mm -hmm. up looking like this was such an added bonus. My belly button right now just looks like a belly button. And tell us about your recovery again. And it's about four weeks you mentioned, mm -hmm. and you're not back to work just yet, but you're feeling so much better. So much better. You know, my quality of life had been impacted so much by having this procedure. Now, within days, mm -hmm. I could contribute to my family, get up, make breakfast, help my kids with their homework, things like that. Yeah. Not back to work, not back to working out yet, because you still went through a major surgery. Yeah. But definitely a quicker recovery in order to get back to your way life. And the scar also for you very minimal? Practically nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we don't have a picture of your after but we have a picture of someone else's that we want to just pop up so people can see mm -hmm. it as well. And Chrissy, what do you want to tell other women who are going through what you have gone through? My recommendation is to do it. With my back pain, I was a little bit afraid of doing the most invasive, which is what I thought the hysterectomy was going to be. Mm -hmm. So I had, you know, physical therapy, acupuncture, back injections, and when none of that was happening, that's when I decided to go with mm -hmm. the hysterectomy. Now learning how non-invasive it was, I probably would have done that first. And are a lot of women scared to get a procedure done? I think any time we are faced with surgery, it's those we all don't want that. It, mm -hmm. And I think women especially, because they always put everyone first. first. Taking care of their family. And so they wait because what will my children do? How will I help my family? Mm -hmm. Who will get the kids here? And so there's, a, there's always a fear to, to have surgery they really, really need. Mm -hmm. But they're, they're afraid that they'll be out of commission too long. And so anything that can help women's health care and help women recover is a blessing and it's awesome. Are there think psychologically mm -hmm. thinking you're going to have this big scar as a woman I think maybe that might make you hesitate as well. Yeah and try to put it off when in fact you need the surgery exactly. you need to get it done and for people who who are considering this and doing it this way again the scarring is very minimal and it's less invasive than the other procedure a typical procedure. 
Well, if it, when we talk about invasion, we talk about um, the kind of energy we use, how much cutting we have to do on the patient. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does limit that. Um, all laparoscopic and robotic surgery reduces that versus traditional open surgery. Well, doctor, great information for us this morning. Thank you. And Christy, we're so glad you're doing so much better. Thank you also for coming on. Thank you. Appreciate it. To learn more about the single site hysterectomy, call the number or check out the website on your screen. Dr. Swainson's location is on there as well. Sean, over to you. Thank you so much.